so many versions of them. I know. So the haunch is in, you want to keep your weight on your left seat bone, keep your left leg forward, let your right leg come back just slightly, and push her with that inside leg. There you go. Only change, see if you can change the bend a little bit. It's, it's hard, and that direction's a little more difficult for her. And then try going up the center line and just do do some leg yields and switch directions. So right now, leg yield right. So push with your left seat bone a little bit. Keep her shoulders to the left a little more. Now change, put your weight on your right seat bone, push her over. There you go. Yeah, that's okay. Think of it kind of doing it as doing a shoulder in on the diagonal. Because you actually do want to have like the, the shoulder four a little bit. Just make sure she moves off your inside leg when you use it. And if she doesn't, give her a little tap or a, with a whip or a little harder kick. And then just along the rail, try alternating between shoulder in and haunches in. So push her through with your inside leg into the outside rein contact, look to the inside. Sit on the inside seat bone, good. Then stay on that inside seat bone, bring your outside leg back a tiny bit. Just ask her to bring her haunches in. Play with the inside rein so she doesn't bend to the outside. There you go. Play with the inside rein, bring her nose in a little bit. then switch to shoulder in. So move your body first, then your reins. Good. And then change direction, try it in the other direction. Start with shoulder in, so bow, both hands to the inside a little, sit on your inside seat bone, push her through into the outside rein, just move those shoulders over, good, good, now keep your weight where it is, change the bend, or keep the bend but push the haunches in with your outside leg, keep the inside leg on the girth, so keep your weight on the inside, there you go, that's it. One more time, shoulder in first. Keep your weight on your inside seat bone. Switch your legs a little bit and ask her to bring the haunches in. Good, keep the inside, don't lose the inside leg. Good, outside leg pushes her haunches there, good. Do you get the feeling now? Yeah. It's easier in this direction. She's a little stiffer on the haunches and going the other way. So make her really soft, and then when you're ready, ask for a little bit of trot, but don't let her do the transition until she's soft. If you need to do counter flexion to get her soft, you can do that, whatever you need to do. And then once you ask for the trot, 
Make her really move off your leg. If she doesn't go, give her a tap. Because she might think she's done working. Even if she's over flexing a little, I don't care as long as she's soft when you ask for the transition. And if she starts to feel rushy, do your half halts. Especially on the outside rein and then push her through with your leg. And she wants to canter. Try to be stiff, and you just have to keep asking her to flex and bend and soften. And then eventually she'll carry herself sometimes. <laughs> She's like, can her? Can we can her? <laughs> Make her go. She gets a little bulky once in a while. That's her resistance, and you just have to push her through. That's okay, it's no big deal. Just bring her back to trot. I mean, it's actually not a bad thing because she is wanting to move off your leg. Yeah, maybe I should just let her for a little bit. Yeah. Just use your half halts if she wants to rush. exercise for the counter canner. Sorry? It's good to do a little outside flexion like that sometimes. Yeah, I love that exercise. Because it gets her it gets her off the bit as it gets her yeah. up off the bit and it also is a good exercise to help her with the counter canner work. I, yeah I love I love it's one of my favorites. Are you asking for canter or trot? Uh, I wasn't asking her for anything at that point, actually. Oh, she just was doing oh, yeah, her jigging yeah, thing. So she will canter from the walk. Okay. Sometimes she's a little balky about it, but if you just sit quietly and push off with your seat and your leg, most of the time she'll go straight up into it. There you go. Just make sure you sit back. Yeah, get her more round and make sure you don't lean forward in the transition and make sure you keep the rain contact. Yeah, make her make her soft. Don't let her pull. Anticipate. Uh, give her a tap. She's being a butt. So make her move off at the trot first, then bring her back to the walk, and then ask for canter. So make sure when you ask for canter, you keep your keep your seat deep, upper body upright. Just push off with your seat and leg. Oh. And try it again. Push off. Keep a little rain contact, but make her move up into it. 
Sit up and back, look up and ahead and squeeze and go. There you go. This direction, she can be a little bit of a butt sometimes. Yeah. So just use your half halts, use your circles. Almost a little shoulder four feeling. Don't let her swing those haunches in. There you go. Good. Hands a little to the inside so she can't. She has to have shoulder four. Good. but keep her nice and straight. Just make it nice and easy. Don't let her rush. Little half halts, half halts. Alternate sides. Make her come back and sit. That's the hardest part. She wants to rush off. And think about slowing the rhythm a little bit. Good. Don't forget to breathe. She can do little tight circles. She has no problem with that. So you can throw in a 10 or even an 8 meter circle if you need to. and take off with you. Keep that little half halt happening, little, whoops, <laughs> that's her fault. She'll think about that the next time. She'll mm -hmm. be like, oh, there's a rail there. Guess I better watch where I put my hip. So just maintain that outside ring contact. Try to make her balance and sit a little bit. And you could just use your half halts to slow the rhythm a little bit when you need to. to pull and just go run off with you at the trot. You just have to use those half halts, make her bend, keep alternating the bending until she softens. 